Uganda Breweries says it has been able to touch over 50,000 farmers in the country through its deliberate initiative of sourcing some of its key raw materials locally. These include barley, cassava and sorghum, which it uses to blend some of its products. Uh, in there, we also bring in our whole inclusion and diversity agenda, so we're also looking to work with uh, female farmers, consolidators, and uh, there's a whole chain. So there are farmers for barley. There are other crops, like sorghum, which we also use. Uh, it's a more hardy crop. It can be grown in areas as a cash crop, where previously they did not have uh, a, source, a, a cash crop of sorts, where you can just grow to sell uh, to industry and make cash. Uh, and, and that's a part of the, the benefits of industrialization, that then you can get solutions at scale that can be deployed at scale and impact people at scale. The brewer, however, expresses concern over the country's taxation regime, which it says has some inconsistencies, which are affecting some of its products. Uh, however, you find the, the, these innovations are ahead of their time yeah. when it comes to tax taxation policy. So you'll find that uh, the, the smell of ice that you're drinking next to your bell uh, is taxed almost three times. Say, say uh, assume you have Pilsner at 30% uh, excess uh, versus uh, uh, Tasca Cider at 80%. 80%? Yeah. Oh, wow. smell of ice at 80%. Yeah. I think uh, Tasca Cider is about 60%. The sector players are rooting for level playing field that will see the tax base widened and also made more efficient, reduce the amount of tax lost due to non-compliance or inefficiencies, but also reduce the tax burden on a few. So, you know, if you look at the Euro Monitor report from 2021, 458 million is actually lost in uncollected taxes. So you can imagine what that can do for the economy. And that is direct, so we're not even speaking about some of the indirect uh, uh, benefits that come through it that uh, formal companies offer. So there's a lot of revenue that is also lost, which is a huge concern. Uh, as well, there's also in investment. So, you know, when people are looking at sectors to invest in, both local and foreign, you also want to make sure if I've invested, I might, do I have a level playing field? So there's quite a bit of investment that we may be missing out because of the lack of the playing uh, from investors. Besides the tax-associated challenges, the brewer is also looking at climate change as a risk to both the farm and the tens of thousands that depend on it, especially farmers. Currently, the biggest uh, issue is climate change. Uh, one of the biggest contributors to climate change has been identified as carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide emissions. So as a business, this is a, also part of our global business, made a conscious decision to be carbon neutral by the year 2030. So we have, um, we are now putting our money where our mouth is. To be carbon neutral, you need to invest. So the additional value in terms of carbon uh, management is that we are then using waste. Uh, what would either or otherwise be waste in our um, manufacturing process? So there's additional benefit from that. Today, Uganda picks over 70% of its taxes from 1,000 farms, and Uganda Breweries is among the top five. As a major economy player, the brewer believes that it should be supported more to strengthen its innovation, which are intended to result in two new products and more support to affiliated farmers, suppliers, and communities.